in order to get the drop shadow for the text, don't just take a type of text box. So I just use this font for Lobster24 just so I get an idea. What you would want to do is insert word art. And greetings from Beacon Towers. And then press enter. Now that's not fancy. So select it and now change the font back to the one you wanted. Preferably with a making it bigger, like driving it here so it's bigger. I'm going to delete this one. Now how did we get the drop shadow on here? Format options, drop shadow. And of course you can feel free to change the color to something you like better, just as long as it looks good. But again, just adding that drop shadow helps make it look a little better if you want to do some reflection or changing other things with it, you can. So how did I do that again? That was under insert, word art, insert, word art. And when you're done, just to go to file, download, current slide JPEG. And you're it. Turn it into Google Classroom.